scared to look at me, somewhat frightened to notice that I was approaching her. She moved away from her date and came towards me. Whoa. Lástima que tu código ni siquiera te permite amarle, ¿verdad? You see how I'm laughing and I'm happy? This is how you're supposed to be in a relationship. Moving on. You're just making me want to put you in your place. Oh! You obviously don't know me. <laughs> you obviously don't know me, bro. <laughs> oh, warnings. Perfect. Uh... What? Is that a butt? Farting? Flashing lights and imagery that may affect photosensitive viewers. Be careful, please. Please. I guess that's all for this update? Of what? I haven't even played it yet. Oh, shit! End of day four. Was that your boyfriend? Oh, shit. Did that say no? <laughs> Me having still not played day four? I'm not allowed yet. Stop asking me. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. One more for good luck. Holy crap. Anyways. La base de datos de virus ha sido actualizada. Ooh, ooh. This is fancy. Hello. Uh oh. Green. <gasps> Yellow. <gasps> Red. <gasps> Pink. <gasps> Green. I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyways. Hello, everybody. I'm the generate. And welcome to yours game. I saw this requested twice by the same person. They were like, day two, we got <laughs> of asking you to play. I was like, okay, I'll check it out. Since, you know. Um it obviously it's a fucking your boyfriend fan game, and since I can't play day four yet publicly to the people, I guess I could do this in the meantime. So let's uh let's begin, I guess. <coughs> Hola, antes Hi. de empezar, sentimos mucho que el juego haya tenido demasiados oh. problemas. Logramos solucionar algunos errores que encontramos gracias a su feedback. Así que, lo último que me queda decir es, muchas gracias por jugar el juego y apoyarlo a pesar de tener estos pequeños inconvenientes. Ahora sí, disfruten. Pero qué mierda les <risa> I have no words. Huh? <laughs> Since when have there been special scenes? Excuse me? Oh, well, never mind. Tell me, what's your name? I don't know. I guess my name is... These Nuts! Just kidding. Pleasure having you here. Great. Have a beautiful day. Good luck. I will! Things haven't been going well lately. There were a lot of complicated issues in my life. But it's something I can't control even if I wanted to. Oh, by the way, I'm recording this the same time I recorded Seven Bloody Nights. Sue me. Sue me. <laughs> so I'm still congested. But it's better to leave that for another time. I have to focus on starting the day and moving forward. It's better than when my throat was like crazy. I, my voice is gone. I got up from my bed and looked around my room for a few minutes. How did I end it up like this? I don't know. I shook my head slightly and headed towards the closet so I could change my clothes for once. 
There. Now what am I gonna take from my desk? I don't know. I thought that was someone underneath my desk. What's this? Do I get to like read it first? Puta? What the fuck? Why did I write that on my desk? <laughs> Dream? That's what the mask is! Um What am I doing here? My last pair of socks. How the fuck do I keep losing them? Instead of keeping instead of keep finding cheese? Do I have goblins or goblins or what? Uh let's do the heart. What's my pick doing here? Oh, it's a pick. I'm gonna end up losing it at at this rate. Poop? What? My poop? What? Mr. Poop JP JPEG? That guy is very talented. I really like his voice acting. As soon as I get my laptop fixed, I'll watch the latest stuff he's uploaded to his channel. On my 2000 cell phone, I can't watch EU TV. What? Mr. Poop and JPEG. A very curious but clever name. Okay. Uh, let's do the bald up paper. I hate crying. I still feel my nose constipated. There's blood on there, bro. Are you sure you were just crying? Last night I drank from that glass and didn't notice the cockroach drowned in it. Ew. I can still feel this his its tiny legs touching my lips. Ew! A kiss to death. Does it count as necrophilia? What is going on here? I looked at that at the mask that was on the table. Why are you outside? It was a Halloween mask from one of my favorite potato chip brands. Oh it is. I got it through a promotion they did for that season. If you bought three packs of their chips, they gave you a themed mask of their ma mascot. It was quite ingenuous. Right, the blood stains on its cheeks and hair were actually barbecue sauce, trying to create the illusion of being bloodied. <clears throat> I held it in my hands for a couple seconds, and after examining it closely, I remembered why I had it on the desk. I forgot about the costume party Tamara said invited me. I groaned at the thought of having to search for the rest of the costume in time if I wanted to leave there. Leave here at a reasonable hour. I should stop saying yes to Tamara every time she invites me to one of her parties. Last time I woke up in a park pod. Bro, well it's your fault for like, drinking. I sighed as I took the mask and placed it on the, on the bed. Then with nothing else to do, I headed to my closet to look for the rest of the costume. After about 10 minutes, I laid out everything I was going to wear on a chair and went to look for the ticket Tamara gave me to enter the party without any problems. Upon finding it, I could see... Sorry. Okay. I could see it noted that the party wasn't going to start for another 6 hours. I guess I could take a nap, that way I'll have energy when I get up, get to the party. And I'll avoid Tamara killing me for not getting into the vibe. I walked to my bed and lay down again, taking my pillows and hugging them to sleep more comfortably. Bro, I wasn't done looking at the desk. Alright, let's start over again. I'll be back. Alright, let's see what the laptop had in store. Ugh. I looked at my laptop with some anger. Errors and bugs continue to appear even though I had fixed it a while ago. No matter what I do, I can't get the screen to turn on. If it does... Oh, and if it does, I just get a notification that it's infested with some strange virus. What the shit? <laughs> I should change the establishment. It is established in their policies that if they don't fix it, they will at least give me a partial refund. And the money would help me right now to not die in poverty. It's better if I go and file a claim and get this thing over with. Maybe if I save the money they give me for my refund and look for a second job, I can afford a laptop at the end of the year. Once I took the computer, I put it in, uh, in its case and placed it inside my backpack along with some other things I had in it. I grabbed the keys and left my apartment with uh, only one thing in mind to go get my fucking money. Oh, okay. Okay, it's yellow now. Okay, so I feel like I'm opening up a, a whole can of worms here. So I'm gonna go back. I'm not cheating, I promise. 
and we're just gonna load here. What about the keychain? Oh shit. The keychain that Perry gave me after I finished watching the anime he recommended? I hate to admit it, but it was pretty funny, even though the blue shiny guy was very cringe. What? Okay. Um, the phone? The phone is ringing. After last night's talk, I don't want to hear from him. Ooh. Or at least not for now. I hope he apologized for what he said. Ooh, drama. Okay, so I guess the only two options is the mask, which save it and then the other option is the laptop so yeah i think we're gonna do since i did the mask first i guess we could do the mask let's see how fun that's gonna be it had been two hours since i left home luckily the weather was pleasant Usually by this time it tends to snow and get extremely cold, but I guess Winter took pity on me today. I glanced down at my small ticket and reread the address written on the back. Ooh, colors. I paused for a moment to check if it was on the right street. As I looked up, I could see in the distance some people in costumes heading towards a big house, from which I could hear music from where I stood. Lights of all colors were coming out of that house out of that house's windows. We were drinking and chatting around, and somehow a drunk guy was sleeping on the roof. Lovely. I didn't even notice him until they said something. Whoa! What's going on in that room up there? Ah. Uh, damn, have they started already? I thought the party was just about to begin. I suppose I should just... I should go in now? Or else Tamara will go berserk without me. I quickly walked to the house as I got closer. I could smell alcohol and a few other substances from miles away. They sure went all out for the party. Okay, people. We partying? <laughs> I'm going crazy right now. About handling, handing in my ticket and receiving my bracelet, I entered the house in search of Tamara. However, with the music blasting and people pushing me, it only made my search more complicated. Shit, how big is this place? Where the hell are you? As I continue navigating through the party, it feels some people coming up to talk to me and invaded my personal space. Some grabbed me by the hips while others just placed their arms around my shoulders and tried to talk to me to have a good time with them. I doubt it, bro. I doubt it. I doubt we're gonna have any type of good time. I tried to refuse in the most normal way possible to avoid trouble. After all, they were just drunk people with a great need to hook up. Even though all of this made me incredibly uncomfortable, I couldn't do anything about it. I just wanted to find time as soon as possible. I what is with the crack over there in the screen? I came with one only one objective in mind to get wasted. Right. Who's that? Is that me? Oh, Tabula, that's my friend. Fortunately, I could hear her voice in the distance, laughing loudly. Without wasting a second longer, I ran towards her. I ran towards where her laughter was coming from. Finding her with a tall guy, she sat at his lap on the couch. I seemed like she was going to have a great time tonight. Hey, you started the party without me, bitch. <laughs> Turned to look at me, somewhat frightened, to notice that I was approaching her. She moved away from her date and came towards me. Whoa. <laughs> Those better be fake. I'm pressing the H key. I'm curious. What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? Well, I came to make bad decisions, if you know what I mean. Damn it, why the hell did you come? What is your problem? You invited me to the party. You bought my ticket and everything. Why are you saying that? Oh no, you ignored my- you ignored, you ignored your phone again, didn't you? As soon as she said that, I unconsciously started searching in my pockets, but I couldn't feel anything. Damn it, I forgot at home. I'm gonna let out a sigh and <sighs> took my hand, leading me to the bathroom. What about your date? That was not her date. Doesn't matter. I don't even feel like cooking up with him that much. I was waiting for someone else. 
put your tit away, bro. <laughs> Upon entering the bathroom, Tamara forcefully closed the door behind her. It was clear that she was angry. How many times have I told you that how breath I was too distracted by her tit just there? How many times have I told you that you shouldn't ignore your phone no matter what happens to you? Ugh. Fine, don't answer me. But you should leave here and quickly. Could you at least tell me the reason? You always get mad at me when I don't come to one of your parties. And now that I'm here, you want me to leave. Ah, si hubieras leído mi mensaje, no tendría que decírtelo. If you had read my message, I would have to I wouldn't have to tell you. <sighs> Él está aquí. Oh, is he? Why would you invite him? Isn't this your party? I felt my blood turn cold when I heard her say that. My stomach began to twist in pain as I remembered my ex-boyfriend's face. Y está buscándote. Traté de decirle que no ibas a venir y que no habíamos hablado en meses, pero ya sabes cómo es él. Es mejor que te vayas. And he's looking for you? I tried to tell him you weren't coming? And that we hadn't spoken in months? But you know how he is. It's better if you go. I barely saw him. Instinctively, I look around to see if he was hiding somewhere in the bathroom, but I found nothing out of the ordinary. I hated that my paranoia played with my mind, especially when it came, for, to, it came to my ex. For someone so tall, he knew how to be discreet. Ah. At least when we were dating, we hid better than my dad. What? He hid better than my dad when he went out for cigarettes? Funny. It's been months since we broke up, and still I can't overcome the fear of seeing him again. Will it always be like this? We'll have to run away from him. Wherever... No, it says whenever. Whenever we're in the same place. Just because I didn't know... Whoops. I had to end the relationship in time. It's a good reason, but I can't live peacefully if I keep thinking like that. I'm done with him, so there's nothing I can do about it. Or can I? Uh-oh. I'm leaving, I'm staying. Her whole tit is out, bro. I have to sense it out the whole time. Um, I like this. This is really cool. I'm gonna stay. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I immediately shook my head, thinking about having to leave the party just because that jerk was here. That idiot surely wants us to re reconcile after all the crap he did. I'm so surprised by how he's able to move on with his life as if nothing happened after manipulating, blackmailing, hating, and cheating on me for over a year. Yeah. Grapes and peaches would love him. <laughs> I won't let a guy with fragile masculinity ruin my night just because I chose my well-being over fulfilling his narcissistic desire to conquer me again. I'm gonna stay here, I don't care. Pero si acabas de casi cagarte los pantalones cuando te dije que él estaba aquí. ¿En serio estás seguro? I'm a baller. But if, but if you almost crapped your pants when I told you he was here, are you sure you... I decided to interrupt her. Tam, I know you want to protect me from everyone, and especially from this jerk, but believe me, everything will be fine. I have to overcome what happened. I'm gonna say her name was actually Tamara. <laughs> and I was just being stupid. Tamara just rolled her eyes and nodded. Alright, but scream my name if you need help. I still don't think that jerk has changed. Remember what happened with you not with you know who, right? Yes, I know, but she was a bitch after all. I mean, even you fucked her? Huh. Ouch, that hurt. But it's true, in fact. I think I'll do it again. She moved her hips so well. Ha. Huh. I groaned at the thought of uh, Tamara hooking up with my ex best friend. I better go grab a drink, or that image won't leave my head. If you do, please don't tell me how it went. I thought you were going to get, <laughs> get over everything that happened. It's not the same for her. She betrayed me in the worst way, and you know it. Well, he also instigated her, but I understand what you mean. You should be grateful that I'm a good friend. I don't go around begging my friend's boyfriends. You're a slut, but at least you have standards. <laughs> Culpable. 
Uh huh. Thanks for letting me know anyway. By the way, don't you think you went too far with the costume? What do you say that? Your whole tit is out? I pointed to her chest and she looked out. She immediately blushed. Ay, ¿por qué no me lo dijiste antes, imbécil? I mean, I, th I thought maybe you'd feel the cold wind tickling your nipple. I would think. I like the view I was having. It's good. It's a good start for the party. Mejor it lárgate de aquí antes de que te ahogue con ellas. Is that a threat or a promise? <laughs> Get out of here before I suffocate you with them. But that would be a prize, not a punishment. Yeah. Tamara gave me a punch to the shoulder for what I was saying to her. At least I had to have some fun with her. Oh, what is that picture, bro? Yeah, fix it. Huge knockers. I left the bathroom smiling as I turned to see Tamara, t Tamara leaving. I noticed she was still struggling to fix her costume. I couldn't help but laugh a little seeing her like that. I guess that's the downside of having big boobs. You're telling me. But I had to leave before the good f drinks ran out. Nice. Let's get drunk! The party went on for a good while. A lot of people were drinking and playing with the, with the liquors to the point of seeing people talking, taking vodka from others' bodies. Huh. Many of them were just drinking but also smoking and inhaling a few other things. I got carried away by the atmosphere and without thinking twice, I drank until my liver exploded. Along with a few others, we decided to play bet place bets. Huh. Almost leaving me without clothes and causing another group of guys to join us. It got to the point where we decided to try some of what they were inhaling. And due to its effect, we, just, we decided to play 7 Minutes in Heaven. It was undoubtedly a great party. I hadn't gone wild like that in a long time. I went up the stairs to the second floor looking for a room to rest after everything I did. I really wanted to take a nap. I don't think that's a good idea. However, out of nowhere, I felt someone pulling me into a dark room. Uh oh, smooth jazz. I wonder what's gonna happen in this room. Suddenly, a person wearing a strange mask had thrown me onto what seemed to be a bed. I caused my mask to fall off. I tried to escape quickly, but he had positioned himself between the door and me, locking it. What the hell's wrong with you, fuckface? He continued to say nothing and just slowly approached me, so I began to step back. This isn't funny, why'd you trap me here? Not found. Because I've come to take something that belongs to me. Really? I don't have anything of yours, what are you talking about? Huh, nigga? <laughs> Sorry, I'm totally not increasing my volume. So I can hear him better. I'm not doing that. I just need to take a breath. You know, I'm sick, so... Isn't it obvious? I just want to have a good time with you. Right. Out of fear, I almost tripped over the edge of the bed. I looked around to see if I could escape through somewhere else. However, I was running out of options, and this guy kept walking towards me. His hand approached my face, and without thinking twice, he put one of his fingers on my lips. Which ones? But dude, laughing, applause. <laughs> the fear I felt didn't allow me to scream. It's as if I had frozen at his touch. I closed my eyes, expecting the worst. Pero no cierra los ojos, así le quitas la diversión al asunto. Don't close your eyes. Take that takes the fun out of it, does it? Wait, I've heard that laughter before. Hated? I'm gonna assume so. Uh oh. Age, I read about. <laughs> Should've kept the mask on. That's the problem, bro. <laughs> uh, uh. I think. No, I don't actually. I don't know people. My opinion on, like, the, the whole masks, guys, is like. The only way you could really enjoy is if they keep the mask on. Because it's like, you're rolling a really risky dice with 
the guy is just wearing a mask because it's either he's not as amazing as you thought or he is but half of the time 99 percent of the time he's usually subpar underneath the mask so it's like damn that's why i can't get around the whole mask thing because once they take that shit off They go look like this. <laughs> like now, no offense to him though. He definitely sounded a little nice, but it's like damn, cause it's like when you're thinking about it, you're like, oh, this nigga, he probably super attractive underneath the mask, right? And your your expectations are already high. Then he takes off the mask and. It, that's why I never have high expectations of people in my life because they always disappoint you so that's a terrible way of living but what are you gonna do that's my two cents on this situation let me get back into it shall we I slowly opened my eyes and saw the person in front of me taking off the mask ding 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 parece que alguien adivinó oh <laughs> I Ding ding ding, looks like we have a winner. Y el premio para adivinar es And the beso. prize for the winner is a kiss. Is it? Are you sure about that? No. Unconsciously I hit him on the chest. You're a fucking idiot. What kind of psychopath are you to think that doing something like this would be a good idea? It was just a little joke. It wasn't very funny. Well your stupid joke isn't funny. Don't be mad at me. Pumpkin? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, come on, pumpkin. I remember you used to love it when I played pranks on you. Where did that sense of humor that I adored so much go? It died. He took my hand somewhat carefully, but I quickly pulled it away from his grasp. It died the day you decided to cheat on me. <laughs> he rolled his eyes and spoke again. Can you please just forget that already? <laughs> I love doing evil cackling laughter. You don't forget that. That's not something you forget. I'd rather... <laughs> I'd rather commit sewer slide than forget the crap you both put me through. Both. Both. <laughs> both. I stood up, picked up my mask from the floor, put it back on, and quickly headed to the door to get away from that jerk. At this point, it might have been better if someone else had tried to mug me rather than his stupid face. Right? No, please wait. I just want to talk. No thanks. And what makes you think I care about that? Because I was important to you at some point, or at least I want to believe that. Are you turning this against me, bro? This is what I don't like about niggas. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I think this is some shit Ian would pull. I was important to you at some point. At least I want to believe that. Shut the fuck up with that dumb bullshit. What are you about to say? Don't come up with me. What? Don't come up with that crap. Your dirty tricks won't work on me anymore. We're done. Face it. Get that shit inside your head. Without further ado. Because he really just tried to... I guess you didn't love me this whole that whole time we were together. Shut up. You clearly didn't. Because you decided to cheat. Duh. This guy thinks I'm stupid. He thinks I'm dumb. Anyways, without further ado, I grabbed my, I grabbed the doorknob. But for some reason, I couldn't open the door. Not because it was still locked, but because I couldn't leave like nothing bad happened. What are you talking about? Fuck him, I'm leaving. I thought it said like fuck him. I was like, huh? What are you talking about? Be like one last go around before we. Leave. You know what? Fuck him. 
I made my decision a long time ago. I'm not anyone's therapist, and definitely, I can't fix that. That didn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> Goodbye, pain. But I guess that's how his name is pronounced. I opened the door and left that room, hurried down the stairs, and ran out of the party through the back. I had distanced myself enough from that place. There was no sign of pie, I guess. I took off my mask and called a taxi to take me home. After all the running, there was no way I'd walk back. As I got into the car, I closed my eyes for a few moments. Due to the tiredness, tiredness I felt. Arriving home, I took off my clothes and left them on top of a chair. I really don't feel like taking a bath at this point. I don't want to sleep, so I can put aside. I don't know why I said that. I just wanted to sleep so I could put aside everything that had happened a few hours ago. I was enjoying myself. I wasn't going to leave a party just because some douchebag was there. That's not my problem. That's his problem. And of course he wants to approach me all willy-nilly. Like, bro. Get a life. Really. I'm not falling for that shit, bro. I closed my eyes and after a few minutes, I could feel myself starting to fall asleep. Good. Although, what have a bad this bad feeling? What are you talking about? That was actually the perfect night, to be honest. Uh oh. Oh shit. Creepy fucking. Hello. Qué patético conformarte con solo mirar. Lástima que tu código ni siquiera te permite amarle, ¿verdad? Ah. Uh. Ah. Huh. Uh. Silence is really loud. Maker must. Oh shit. Oh shit. There's only two colors as of right now. As I've seen. Whoa! That was actually very interesting. I hate. Bro. Because that shit really bothers me. What are you thinking about, D? Share your thoughts. Sure, definitely. Niggas who cheated on you and then they be they're like they're obsessed with you, but they cheat on you. Or like bro, cause this only started because of fucking Ian. So grateful, by the way. Like, how you gonna cheat and then be, be you be the one obsessed? What? You make absolutely no sense, bro. I can I, I'm gonna sit here for hours talking about it. If if I don't stop myself here. All I'm gonna say is that's so that That's so stupid. That's what I think. I think that's the dumbest thing ever. Then you're gonna go and cheat and be obsessed with us. And be like, oh, please, please take me back. Oh my god, please. You look pathetic. You look so sad right now. Really. Dumb videos that I see on like TikTok or whatever of the exes breaking down when the, the people find out they cheat on them. Funniest shit in the world. It has to be. Cause there's no way. They're like, please don't do this to us. You look goofy. I'm eating this shit up like candy. <laughs> like candy. Anyways, there's always like hair floating around in the air. Um, we're gonna do this again. But this time, buckaroonies with this. Yeah. Am I right? Wrong. <laughs> I was wrong.
because I don't know I don't know because I would be this that's a whole hour-long video of me explaining how much I hate niggas like that you gonna go and you gonna cheat and you're gonna be obsessed like a crazed lunatic stalking me and whatnot it's like bro you did not love me enough to not cheat so why are you trying to pretend you love me now that shit just don't make sense it's more comedic than anything so since i got time i will do this other half route thing whatever that ending was crazy though <laughs> whoa is what that was that was crazy bro i looked at my laptop with some anger uh-oh my eye is like bugging out now kind of like my laptop errors and bugs continue to appear even though i had fixed it a while ago we know this look at that big guy in the back Woohoo! i want to get to know him sorry let me stop the streets seem to be more crowded than usual is there going to be an event today Hopefully there won't be another protest. I don't want to be involved in any inter altercation between the sides. Ooh! What's this? Whatever, I don't care. I'm already here. <coughs> At work? Yeah, I burped. I do that. I'm a human being. Upon entering the store, I heard the typical bell that announces the arrival of customers. However, there was no one at the counter. I took advantage of that and took my laptop out of my backpack so I could have everything ready once someone came in. Oh, someone came to help me. However, no one showed up. Hello, is there anyone here? I waited a few minutes, but no one answered me. The place was completely empty. Anyway, it's not gonna stop me. Hello, I came for a technical appointment? Could someone please help me? I punch. And an exaggerated exhalation. exhalation? I heard in the background of the store followed by footsteps. The door to the employee area flew open, collided with the wall that was attached to it. I could see how tall a man came out of place, came out of that place, adjusting his cap with clear annoyance in his face. You came to work. I know work is annoying, we all get it, yes, but it's like, bro. There was nobody here. Uh oh. Damn, he almost broke that door in half. In a way. Technic. Technic. The cap say the cap should honestly say Anita Maxween. Anita Maxween. When he exchanged when we exchanged gaze When we exchanged gazes, I could see how for a moment he shifted a little bit. As if you didn't expect to see me here at all. Why did he react like that? Could it be that I'm badging it? Well... <laughs> as we have learned... He is in our computer. A little webcam. When I, tried to when I tried talking to him, I could only hear his irritated voice, filling the room as if he was scolding me. Interrupting my attempt to talk. Deja de gritar, uh, maldita sea! ¿Qué quieres? ¿No viste la señal de que volvíamos en 15 minutos? You're yelling! You're yelling at me! Don't yell at me. Stop yelling, damn it! What do you want? Did you see the sign saying that we'd be back in 15 minutes? What were you doing back there? That was so important. I'm sorry, Mr. I managed to read Retep's name on the label of his chest. He seemed to be somewhat temperamental. Somewhat. What? He seemed to be a somewhat temperamental person because I could hear him making small complaints just by taking the time to read his name. Mr. Retep? Retep? <coughs> I didn't see it. I just walked in since the door was open. If you prefer it, I can come back another time. The way at least someone Jesus Christ, he yelled at me. Of course I'm gonna be mad. 
that way at least someone with a more pleasant attitude would help me no there's no need for that really you already got me out of my break so I better hurry up and tell me what you want first of all for your attitude change what's his problem let's be reasonable I don't give a fuck what's his problem okay look I placed my laptop on the table the counter and turned it on in front of him however the screen simply displayed the same error message as always and turned off without further ado after a few seconds it's been a month since I brought it here and now it's worse than ever I can't even turn it on he probably would want to put the bug in it first since you guys were no, of no help I would like you to give me a partial refund according to the store's policy he stayed silent for a few seconds, as if he were thinking about something. The green-eyed guy looked at me with a grimace on his face. As if dealing with this was giving him a migraine. This is clearly your fault. What? I bet you're still getting into those weird pages, am I wrong? Still? What are you talking about? Please. We always look at our client's history. Why are you looking at, why are you looking at my history? There's nothing there. I promise. Okay, whatever you saw, that's none of your business. And don't fuck with me. This isn't my fault. When you guys gave me the, my laptop last month, you all told me it was going to take a while to start, but that everything was already fixed. That was a fucking lie. I waited for a damn hour when I tried turning it on. It kept telling me there were a lot of problems and bugs. And it hasn't turned on ever since. You're probably taking it to another technician. I don't think we left that thing like this. Don't give me that bullshit. I only brought it here because your store used to do a great, great work before. But now you just love fucking up my laptop to get more money from me. Just give me my damn refund so I can get out of here once and for all. Remain silent again for a few seconds before speaking. He's a little upset and noticeably angry. Did you think I wouldn't clap back? Yeah. Fuck you, my services are one of the best in the shitty ass city. It's not your fault that you don't know how to take care of your own things and keep damaging it every fucking time. Let's fight, bro. Let's go. Let's tussle. Let's tussle. What's a tussle? In my bedroom, we're gonna tussle. <laughs> yeah. What? The, what's this problem? Oh God, here we go again. I've been a, I've been patient with you guys for a long time. I'm not gonna let you let us come back like you treat me like things you supposedly fix. Uh, uh, you wanna get closer? I can get real close. Yeah. You think I'm playing with him? I'm not playing with you, bro. Already yelled at me. So, God, I'm surprised that things break so easily around you if you're so fucking insufferable. I'd rather commit sewer slide than listen to your complaints. No balls. You know what? You can go fuck yourself <laughs> with what you're saying. You're just showing me that you're a fucking damn brat. Because I don't think anyone in their right mind would say something like that. Oh, pardon me, really. Pardon me, because I don't think you can understand that I don't really care about your stupid opinion. <laughs> oh man, I'm in a good ass fucking mood today, boy. I'm in a good mood today. Test me, keep testing me. Don't make me, don't make me touch this <laughs> with my lips again. Don't. Don't. You thought that was funny? That wasn't funny. Little fucking face. Anyway, I'll fix your filthy garbage and I'll do it for free. So you can stop crying and leave me alone for once. So come get it. No! Why would you even think that after all this, <laughs> I'll leave my laptop with you? You will definitely ruin it more. I already told you I want my refund. What? You better take my damn pills, bitch. Excuse me? Excuse me? Huh? I know you're not talking to me. I know you're not talking to me. 
Because it looks like you came out of the fucking asylum. For your fucking delusions. Shut the fuck up. I already told you to do it for free. I do a lot of things for free. We don't see me dropping down to my knees. Hey, yo. Right. Stop complaining. Give me your fucking laptop. As I said. No. I want my refund. I'll go to another place or whatever. I don't trust people like you touching my computer. Surely everyone in this place is useless, is a useless asshole like you. <gasps> you can't do that. I can't? I will. He put his hand on the counter violently, taking me by surprise, causing me to step back a little so he could keep my laptop. Great. And not only was I left without my refund, and my laptop was trapped in his hands. Retep likes using slurs only when he's around you. What? Do that again? Especially if he's angry. I don't really care. I like this little squabble we're doing. It's entertaining. I already told you I'm gonna fix this to a piece of junk, so you better stop acting like a wayward bitch if you don't want me to charge you for your services with taxes included. You're sickening me already. The only wayward bitch here is you. Why do you keep insulting? Oh, insisting. I wanted to fix it if you're so fed up then. Because I want to do it, okay? Of course, out of nowhere, you're a saint willing to help others. I don't believe you. I don't believe you anything. You probably just put a tracker on it or something. I said no. No to what? Give. Me. Back. My. Laptop. I. Would. Rather. Die. Why are you insisting so damn much on wanting to fix it if the only thing you've done since I arrived is insult me and blame me for everything? Porque si te dejo ahora, no sabré cómo acercarme a ti. Y no estoy dispuesto a perderte. Because if I let you go now, I won't know how to come closer to you, and I'm not willing to lose you. Huh. <laughs> okay. There was silence throughout, this, the, throughout the place. The only thing that could be heard was the sound of people in cars passing by outside the store. I had to admit it, that took me by surprise. But not everything makes sense. At least a little bit. The laptop is not broken or infested because of me, right? He was screwing up, screwing it up this whole time. For fuck's sake, say something. To be fair, the main problem is your fucking Wi-Fi. It's infested with viruses. I don't know how could you have so much shit in there. And there it is again, blaming everything on me. It's not that I wanted to come closer. It's like that, but what the fuck was I supposed to do? I could only see you through the employee door window every now and then. And I don't understand why <laughs> I feel whatever I'm feeling about you. It's not supposed to be like this. Excuse me? What did you say? Nothing, forget it. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. I didn't know what the fuck you said either. No oh, fuck, I'm about to fall asleep. Uh, well? What the fuck? I'm gonna do well? I sighed. Was this really happening? This is the stupidest way anyone has ever tried to flirt with me. It's like he read an AO3? Oh, AO3 fanfic. And followed step by step the most popular fic written by a 13 year old girl. Did you do all this so you could keep seeing me? Ugh, yes, damn, stop teasing me already. I'm not teasing. It's a little hard to believe. Aunque quisiera, no uh. puedo cambiar lo que hice. Así que simplemente seguí haciéndolo para ver hacia dónde me llevaba. You're loud, bro. Even if I wanted to, I can't change what I did. So I kept doing it to see where it took me. Seriously, you were horrible. <sighs> Como sea, solo mándame la mierda de una vez. No pienso arrastrarme por nadie. Ugh, whatever. 
Just tell me to fuck off already. I'm not gonna crawl for anyone. Can you just stop it? <laughs> you do know that there are better ways to get a person's contact, right? Give me your cell phone. Would you prefer that I write it down somewhere else? Huh? I don't have one? It had an accident. Did it piss itself? What kind of accident, if I can ask? It was crushed by a train? Nega. What? It's a long story. I bet. I've got time. Forget it. Just give me a marker or something. He rummaged in a drawer in the uh, bro on the counter and pulled out a light green marker. Give me your arm. For what? I want to do something. Give it to me. What do you want to do? Mega, do you want my phone number or what? You're making this so fun. What's wrong with you? Stop asking me questions. Just do it. Reluctantly, he extends his arm. I took it quickly. Wrote... Wrote on my number before he changed his mind. This is the least... <laughs> this is the least thing you deserve for putting me through all this trouble. You better not wash it off. I need you to call me if you can check both my laptop and my Wi-Fi. If what you said earlier is true. He nods. His gaze was completely lost on his arm. He really can't believe that he finally managed to get my direct contact. And stop ruining it on purpose. If you're going to try to flirt with me, at least do it like a normal person. That was clearly flirting. I don't understand why we're so dumb. Yes, yes, I understand. I promise I'll fix it this time. Perfect. My head wanders to a particular thought. So, does that mean you find me attractive enough to commit a crime like this? He says yes. Oh, please, don't feel like you're a big deal. There it is again! Ten points across the board. I'm just a man with shitty taste. <laughs> Get over here and take your pants off. Let me say it. <laughs> Don't make me say it again. That was unnecessary, but I'm surprised by someone who wears a cap inside. Are you bald or something? Yes. Do you think it's a bad? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Do you think it's a bad time to say that I'm no longer interested in you? What? I'm just joking. I'm just stroking you, bro. <laughs> Actually, you're quite attractive. I wonder how pretty you can sing. Huh? Sing. I can't. Uh huh. Get out already. Yup, I'm leaving. You, you will call me, right? Ya te dije que sí. Yo lo haré cuando salga del trabajo. Podríamos, podríamos hacer algo este fin de semana. I already told you I will. I'll do it when I get off of work. We could, we could do something this weekend. Okay, but it's not a date yet. I'm gonna test you first. This was a test and he passed. If you do a good job, I might reward you. God. See you. I'm a Rizatron 9000. While I was walking back home, I couldn't help but feel very happy. Something strange. Oh my god. Sorry. I took, um, some NyQuil's or something. <laughs> something strange after everything that happened today with that guy. But it's been months since I did it someone romantically. At least this one seems committed, unlike... Dick face. It doesn't matter. Should I go to sleep now or in a while? I have to get up early tomorrow, but I don't think I'll get up that late if I stay up a little. Hello? I feel like I forgot something. Your laptop? Oh shit. What did that say? I am so- I'm drowsy. What the hell? Hello? Oh, I didn't see what that said. Oh, shit. I'm stupid. Ugh. I'm guessing I have to click the screen again. 
Got you. Alrighty. So that was both guys. I mean, I feel like there's nothing else. That was a fucking lie. Oh, that's actually very interesting. Let me see something really quick. Um, we're gonna go back to the mask guy, and then we're gonna see what happens if we decide to stay. And then I gotta censor her titty again. Oh, let's do this one. I side and turned to look at him. He was sitting on the bed. His back to me, seeming to have given up already. Damn it, why am I like this? This is some shit grapes would do. This is not something I would do. You have only one chance to speak, make it quick. I said a bit resentfully. I could see him looking somewhat excited at me. After all, he managed to get what he wanted, my attention. Look, I know you think I'm going to say the same thing again. Well, you're starting just like the other time, so... Well, I promise it won't be the same. He patted the bed twice, indicating I should sit beside him. Rolling my eyes, I complied. <laughs> and as soon as I sat down, he took my hand. What are you- I truly regret hurting you so much, do you? I genuinely apologize for acting irresponsible and treating you more like an object than a person. Wop wop. <laughs> Although there's no excuse for my actions, correct? I know very well that you were the most important person in my life, even though our paths diverged. That sounds like it came straight from the internet. I swear on the most sacred thing in my life, which is you, that everything I'm saying comes from the heart. Now I gotta die because he sweared it on me. That nigga's lying. I felt him squeeze my head a bit tighter as he started to cry. I want you to know that my intention was to protect you. To protect what I valued most for people who, I wa who only wanted to use you. What? See, your way of protecting me was by deceiving me. What a stupid conclusion you've reached. I know it's very hard to explain and honestly, it wouldn't make sense. What I had with her was a mistake, plain and simple. I don't see why I should justify what I did. After all, I let temptation get the better of me, and I lost the love of my life by doing so. Por favor, permíteme corregir mis errores. Te prometo que trabajaré incansablemente para obtener tu perdón. Y te demostraré con acciones, no solo palabras, lo mucho que significas para mí. Please allow me to correct my mistakes. I promise I will work tirelessly to earn your forgiveness and show you with actions, not just words, how much you mean to me. I just want to return to the time when I was very happy. Commit to the relationship with the person I have loved the most. Solo quiero estar contigo. Estoy dispuesto a cambiar por ti esta vez. I just want to be with you. I'm willing to change for you this time. forgive you it's over oh bitch what she about to do something stupid uh let's forgive him since we're already here he apologizes uh sounded sincere this time he was even avoiding looking at me in the eyes i guess out of shape for everything that's happened i let a small sight intervened intertwined our fingers resting my head on his shoulder you're aware of how much you hurt me, right? Todos los días estoy consciente de ello. I'm aware of it every day. I felt his thumb stroke my palm. It felt really good to hold his hand again after all this time. What happened that day hurt me a lot. I really wish to have your support. I understand. I don't expect you to forgive me for leaving you that time. I'll do everything possible to fix my mistake. And show my commitment to you. I thought I had to sneeze, sorry. Silence filled the room. But I felt a kind of tranquility while we were together, trying to forget the wounds of the past. Peyton. Yes. I hate you. I said, looking away. And I hate admitting that I still love you despite everything. By the way, I'm just picking this just to get the choice out the way. I would never say this. Do you mean it? Yes, but believe me, this will be the last time I forgive you. I trust that you will change and try to improve. Not for the relationship, but for me. 
¡Ay, preciosura! No tendría ningún otro motivo para poder hacerlo. Oh, darling. I wouldn't have any other reason to do it. Anybody want to explain this? No? Okay. Suddenly I felt to remove my mask and start kissing me somewhat intensely. His hand roamed all over my body, caressing my hips and waist somewhat firmly. I tried to keep up with his rhythm, but I couldn't. It seemed to get wilder as time passed. <sighs> Again, I would never do this. Never. Um. The sensation became more intense, so I pulled away a bit, causing him to let out a small groan. I don't think I could do that just yet. Pero ha pasado mucho tiempo desde que te tuve en mis brazos. No puedo contenerme. But it's been a long time since I held you in my arms. I can't hold back. I understand, but I can't do it after we reconciled. He looked a bit angry, but then placed his hand on my cheek and gently stroked it. It's okay, I'll be patient for you. I'll be patient for you. Stupid fuckhead. I smiled a bit and kissed him again. But this time, the kiss was gentle. When I pulled away, I placed my hands on his chest. By the way, yes, what are you wearing under the robe? Seems like you're not wearing anything down there. Pai chuckled a bit, then lifted his robe, showing me what he was hiding. Eso es porque no llevo nada debajo. <laughs> Arrest me. Not just because I don't want to be here anymore. That's why. <laughs> just... Handcuff me. With this treasure, I s- <sighs> Let me zoom in first. Let me just- Yeah. Let's take a- Let's- <sighs> Control yourself. Gather your thoughts. And then speak. Thank you. Anyways. Now. I'm not against looking at a fat package. <laughs> Duh. I don't care who it is. Just like how everyone, if anyone wanted to see a twerking video, they'd look. They'd want to look at it. Because who doesn't want to see ass shaking? Come on. An idiot. That's who. So, obviously it's going to be censored. Duh. But I get to enjoy it to the fullest of my ability so yeah i get to see fat package you don't <laughs> it was i don't get your panties in a knot it wasn't all that amazing that's because i'm not wearing anything underneath <laughs> i felt my cheeks blush instantly upon <laughs> it's still moving Okay. Whoa. I felt my cheeks blush instantly upon seeing him like that. It had been a long time since I'd seen him, his member. Aún tienes tiempo para retractarte y jugar con nosotros, preciosura. You have, you still have time to take those words back and have some fun with us. Us. No, thank you. I don't want to. Ooh. I felt my eyelids getting heavier. And the room's uh, spinning. I was losing my balance. Yeah. I think the effects of the brownie I ate a while ago are starting to kick in. I walked towards Pied to hug him. However, I could only fall onto the bed and close my eyes. Then I really make a decision. A good decision by getting back with him. I hope he keeps his word this time. Hello? Who's in this closet, bro? Hi! 
this is editing D. I just wanted to put myself in here to explain what's happening in the scene because it's being censored visually and, you know, audio as well. So, okay, in the beginning it was like, obviously the shaking closet. Duh, you saw. And, and then it panned out to like, Tamara, our supposed friend, right? And Peyton, the guy we were literally just talking to. In there, playing Seven Minutes in Heaven. So, yeah, if you don't know what that is, don't search it up. Or do, I don't care. That's your problem. But yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's actually all I wanted to do, was just explain what's happening in the scene. Because it's being heavily censored. I can't even put the audio. In fact, I won't. Yeah, you're gonna listen to this beautiful music. Isn't it so calming? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. I'm finding it. I'm finding it. I cannot believe that we decided to forgive this fuck nugget. What happens? Slow down. Load the game. It's over. Because to be honest, I want to get this shit done. I want to get this shit done. I want him gone from my life. Actually. His apology sounded sincere. Yet... Yet. YET! Did he really want to go through all this again? No. I loved him. Past tense, by the way. A lot. But what we had is over now. Yeah. Hey, and I forgive you, it's okay. He looked at me with a hopeful smile, however, it was erased once I opened my, my mouth again. But I can't deal with this anymore. I'm rebuilding my life. But we could do it together. No. He got too close to me, invading my personal space. Maybe in the past, I wouldn't mind, but now it feels dangerous. No, you don't understand. This isn't about us anymore. This, this could still be about us. You, don't you understand? No. I'm doing this all for you. No. Are you good? Can you not handle rejection? We could do better. Um. Who said we were bro zone? <laughs> not me. You just have to trust me. Come on, don't be like that with me. We both know we're meant to be together. That's a fucking lie. His hands moved forward and grabbed my waist, pulling me closer to him. I tried to push him off, but despite his malnourished body, he was strong. Malnourished? Seems like all the nutrients is going to his strong. You never not- What? You were never too s What? <laughs> you were never too smart to know what's best for you? Die. Let me teach you to love me again. No. I don't want to. Stop insisting. Even with my complaints, he kept groping me to the point that he was ripping my pants off. Lovely. Almost tearing them in the process of unbuttoning them. Lovely. Don't act like a nun. 
a nun. Ah. When you know damn well you love me being rough with you. Die. I know how to touch you to make to make you love me. Only I can make you moan the way I do. Uh huh. It's just a matter of time before you understand this is what you really want. What you need and want. Die. In a moment he left me with nothing. He was always agile for these things. But his carnal desire only made him behave like a primitive prick. <laughs> his hands invaded me, leaving not a single free space to touch. He grabbed my legs, lifting them, forcing me to lie down on the bed. He got on his knees, leaning his face to my pelvis. I could feel his gasps in me. His hot breathing was driving me crazy. I wanted to kill him. <laughs> However, as I tried to push him off, I felt him dig his nails into my skin, causing me to let out a scream from the pain. I heard him chuckle a little for sure. He's just listening to what he wants to hear. That's a very bad sign. He's probably having another one of his psychotic attacks. Are you getting uh horny by this? Let me prove it to you. For months now I've missed tasting your smooth and sweet honey. What about that bitch you cheated on me with? Why not go to her? Oh shit! The following material contains uh, themes situ or situations may um, considered sensitive or uncomfortable for some readers. Although described or mentioned in this text, it is important to note that Tammy and Perry do not um, do not do not support <laughs> or in any way endorse such behaviors in real life. I recommend reader discretion, and remember that this content is fiction and it does not reflect real world values or ethic ethical positions. What the fuck? I have to choose? That's... <laughs> what? That's worse than just letting the scene play. Um... Everything went dark. I'd love to pass out, actually. I woke up the next day in the same room I had locked me in, but he wasn't there. That I found Tamara lying next to me. Seeing me, she just yawned sitting next to me. You good? Good morning. You had a restless night, from what I can see. What? My head hurt and things weren't clear. I didn't remember very well what had happened. I looked at the sheets that were covered, covering me, and managed to see some small blood stains. At that moment, everything that happened last night came to back- came- Back to my mind, and I quickly recovered them with my hand so Tamara could not see them. Everything is okay? Is it? Her voice brought me out of my thoughts. I couldn't tell her what happened. I had to swallow my pride. I pretend I already worked up, worked out the situation with him. It's not your fault. What the fuck? Why would you put that up there? After all, I caused this by saying... By staying, it was all my fault. <laughs> Excuse the fuck out of me, jeez. Yes, everything is fine. We talked and we agreed to try to work out whatever we have now. Who loves you will not judge you. I couldn't help but feel a great pleasure. Oh, pressure in my chest. I remembered everything that had happened to me. And if I told Tamara, she would be very disappointed in me. After all, she warned me and I didn't listen. We all make mistakes, but it, this wasn't your fault. <laughs> we tried to take, he tried to take care of me and just caused everything to go to hell. I had to leave as quickly as possible, so I got up and started grabbing my stuff. I have to go now. I forgot that I have to pay rent today. Ay, mierda. Eres un desastre. Está bien, te dejaré para que te vistas. Pero quiero todos los detalles. <sighs> Shit, you're a mess. Okay, I'll leave you to get dressed at your leisure. But I want all the details. I smiled, looking away. Resting my gaze on the mask Peyton wore the night before. He had forgotten it on the door. Yeah, sure. No. When I got back to my apartment, my body felt 
resentful from the previous night's struggle. I went to the bathroom and turned on the shower, not caring about having my clothes on. I could still feel his hands touching my whole body and wanted to clean it somehow. This guy will lead me to my doom and I'm allowing it. Clearly. Hello? I'm so sorry. You should be. I couldn't control myself. Mm, that's unfortunate. What you need to do is... Never mind. I was gonna say something terrible. Um... I don't know, bro. Uh... I'm gonna go back to the green guy. But I have to do something here. I know, right? I have, I'm trying to exhaust all the options. We're done here. As I looked out the window, I put my hand in my pants pocket and felt something in it. Pulling it out, I saw Pet's note. Without thinking twice, I tore the note into several pieces, opened the window, and threw them into the street. Damn! I don't care what he wrote. I don't want his disgusting trash. Jesus. That's fine, though. Uh-oh. Who's this? Do we just hate everybody? <laughs> like, what? Hola. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, alright, we did all the fucking options there. We're done with that one. Um, we're gonna go back to the green guy. Duh. Which is way better. What's his problem? Let's be reasonable. Let's just be reasonable. Listen, you probably had a bad day, but... Listen, you probably had a bad day. You see how I'm laughing and I'm happy? This is how you're supposed to be in a relationship. Moving on. Excuse me? Igimi? Are you mocking me right now? Will we talk, how will we talk like adults? Like the adults we are? <laughs> okay. How mature of you. You obviously don't look like an idiot behaving like a three-year-old. That bastard is not going to help me, even if I beg him for it. It would be better to make a strategic retreat before wasting time, especially in a place like this. Refund isn't worth it if I have to put up with this social with a social misfit who refuses to do his job. This guy is so <laughs> Jesus. I just looked at him with annoyance and proceeded to put my laptop away and head towards the door. Uh, Spina, uh, I've the bus. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> where am I going, indeed? Uh, aquí. Come back here. Nah. I didn't even bother to look back at him. I left through the door despite hearing his screams and insults, <laughs> and insults among other things. I'm not going to let a wanker fool me around like <laughs> a wanker that's so funny fool me around like a, a ragdoll when i got home i left my laptop where it always was and limited myself to looking up looking at the rest of the things on the table you know what i'll try to fix it on my own what's the worst thing that could happen it explodes two hours later no shit We just leave it open like that? Hi, it's me. It, uh, damn it. It's me again, editing D, to inform you again that it is being heavily censored. Yay! It's pretty obvious what he's doing right now. I feel like I really don't have to say anything. But if you really, really don't understand, he's tenderizing his meat. Yeah. Eres de lo peor. 
Realmente no me interesa si tengo que destruir tu maldita computadora. No dejaré que te alejes de mí. Oh my god, this shit is so funny. <laughs> this shit is comedic, bro. <laughs> Yo, I know you guys are probably gonna be so fucking confused when those scenes play. It's gonna be censored like crazy, bro. Crazy. Like the first one is probably the only gonna be the the only one that's gonna be uncensored, is cause duh, y'all not gonna hear or see nothing, nothing is being heard or seen. <sighs> that's crazy, bro. I'm playing on my phone because I want to see the comment, the exact comment that I saw. <clears throat> one second. <sighs> Let me see. Okay, story at story R says. Day two of asking, please play yours game. I actually don't know if it's out, but yeah. In parentheses, by the way. And I was like, all right, because it says day two of asking. I'm not going to make it be a day three. Well, <laughs> um, what's the next one? Okay, this is the first time they asked me to play it. Can you play this game called yours game? It's on itch. I saw it on TikTok and it looked cool. <laughs> it looked cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That reminded me of that scene in Rick and Morty. I know I've referenced that a lot. I love Rick and Morty. You know, I thought that robot over there looked pretty cool, you know? Oh, it looks cool, huh? That's why you want it? Exactly. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. We're not done, by the way. We're gonna, we have to do it again. Because there's one more choice you can make. Besides that one. So, of course you do. You keep indulging him. Right? And then you say, what the fuck? I don't give a fuck about your pathetic excuses. What the fuck is wrong with you? You were... What? You were the life image of a poor excuse of a man. Oh! My insults and tone of voice seem to have affected him a little. You're a fucking idiot. How the fuck do you think that was a good idea? I always attract sick guys. <laughs> I don't know what these fucking virgins see in me. That's on, but I changed it. But they never stop showing up no matter where I go. What? Look, I know I was wrong about all this shit, but now you're acting like an egocentric brat? Egocentric? Are you kidding me? You have the balls to tell me that I'm an egocentric brat after everything you did? Not giving a damn shit about the rules of this place, I walked and got behind the counter, standing firmly right in front of him. He seemed to be very surprised. He probably didn't expect me to do this. Caught him so off guard that he even his even his cap fell off. But at this point, he made, he made me take the situation to a whole nother level. As I got closer to as I got closer and closer to him. I could see how he was trying to get away from me, as if he was trying to confront me. Oh, that last scene did not have subtitles, so I had no idea what he was saying. <laughs> so yeah. At some point, I already had him cornered against the computer accessories, leaving him with no way out. What? I'm going to teach you a damn lesson, shitty booger. F <laughs> <laughs> He didn't back down anymore, and this time he put force on his oh, on his chest. Then he pushed me with it, as if he was trying to show me who was in charge. However, I didn't give in. I just limited myself to looking him straight in the eyes. <laughs> Shut up now. You're a damn mistake. I wasted my time with you. Shut up. I don't want to have to listen to a whiny pussy like you just because you're hurt that I rejected you. That's what you deserve for being a fucking stalker. I gave him a push that made him take a few steps back. He collided with the products on the back shelf, causing him, causing some of them to fall to the floor. You know what's the worst thing about all this? 
even my ex had the balls to talk to me like a normal person instead of acting like a freak. Not like you. The only thing you've done so far is fuck up my laptop over and over again, waiting for me to notice you for doing a job for which I was paying you a lot for. And no matter what I did, you kept screwing it. What I said seemed to have bothered him too much. Uh-oh. I could only feel him approach me and then charge me and throw me against the counter. At one point, he grabbed my wrist, forcing them to be on the table so I couldn't move freely. Don't you dare compare me to that red, that damn red shitty scumbag. Bastard. He looked agitated, pushing against me. Almost as if he wanted to crush me. I can't even feel all his weight on me. Wait, red? Does this guy even know him? Yeah. If so, then this asshole knows what my ex did to me. What's wrong? Does it hurt you? That I compare you to that cheater? Don't worry, you're not even close to his knees. But you're in the right direction. He's not actually, we're just being mean. After all, you were nothing more than a, an excuse for a pathetic little man. Little? Have you ever even had a partner? <laughs> you can tell <laughs> by a mile that the only boob you've ever touched in your life was when your mom was breastfeeding you. <laughs> We're so mean. But now that I <laughs> took a closer look at you, mommy issues? <laughs> Such a little self-restrained. I feel like I'm not supposed to say that word. But, I don't know. That's a slur towards women, and I'm a woman, so I should be allowed to say it, right? I don't know. His group was getting stronger as so he continued talking. Maybe he was putting me in a dangerous situation, but I can't shut up for some reason. It's like all this came out as verbal vomit. My wrists were starting to hurt from the pressure he was exerting. I could see how he were <laughs> starting to have a slight reddish color thanks from that. Thanks from that? What? As I continued to struggle with him, I could feel him too well down there despite the clothes he was wearing, causing him to squeeze a little more each time one of us increased our strength. Thanks to that, we let out small gas. Retap's breathing was warm and his breath was minty with a mixture of cheap tobacco. Shut up. Shut your stupid fucking mouth. You don't know shit. How about you make me shut up by kissing me? What am I supposed to know? That the shitty ass programmer fell in love with the client. Oh, what a shame. This is not another one of your AO tree stories. Keep talking. You're just making me want to put you in your place. Oh! You obviously don't know me. <laughs> you obviously don't know me, Ru. <laughs> you don't know me, bro. Let's keep talking. Yeah, I kept moving under him. I had to keep trying to get him off me. However, no matter how much I struggled, it was useless. His grip was too strong. Oh no. What a shame. Among all the struggling, I could feel his waist pressing against my pelvis, causing my legs to inevitably open. Uh oh. As soon as he gave a little push that made me let out a little whimper. When I felt a huge lump press against my V zone. We looked at each other for a few seconds. I couldn't help but bite my lip in embarrassment. Did you just... No, of course not. It's not what you think. Is it? He pushed again, making me, making me moan this time. Stop doing that. Oh? En serio debería detenerme? Según lo que yo estoy escuchando, parece que te gusta. Oh, shit. My, I'm crying. Oh, fuck. A tear actually went down my eye, bro. Yeah. This is beyond sick. But it's okay. I'm feeling so much better now. That last guy, oh my gosh. What a trip. Am I right? <clears throat> my throat is so dry. He should <laughs> wait for me. <laughs> this is why I don't say shit, bro. Like, damn. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. She's like, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Should I really stop? From what I'm hearing, you seem to like it. He pushes me again several times. The impact of his bulge against my area made me moan unconsciously each time. 
Stop it, this is too weird. Is it? In a quick movement, he releases my hands to pick me up from his in his arms and take me to the staff area? Really? <laughs> Fuck me. I mean, well, I, 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 FBI, open up! <sighs> With one of his arms, he continued to support me while the other threw the, the things on the table to the floor so I could sit on it. Green might be my new favorite color. Red. What the fuck is red? What's that? Green. Green. He lowered his pants, leaving only his boxers in sight, placing himself between my legs. En serio, quién es que pare? I don't know. <laughs> Do you really want me to stop? No. Oh my god. <laughs> he brought me closer to him and then, uh, um, and then grabbed me by the thighs. Now his member was rubbing it directly against my intimate area. No? That's the reason you were in a bad mood. When was the last time you got laid? You're so needy. Oh my gosh, bro. You're so right. I could only- <laughs> Stop talking. Literally stop talking. <laughs> Just fucking read. <laughs> Just agree, stop talking. Silence. Quiet coyote. <laughs> only um <laughs> I only look into his eyes trying to focus on that fat package between my <laughs> His movements were slow but firm. But was seriously hard to the point. Oh shit, sorry. <clears throat> He was seriously hard to the point that his member began to stain his boxers with some liquid. <laughs> he let out a small panting, and with his hand he grabbed my chin, making um my gaze stay on his um eyes, which were shining with lust. Could he be one of those who have a kink with eye contact? Al parecer yo no soy la perra mal cogida. Oh, sí, pinche egocéntrica. Oh, my gosh. Shh. Sorry. Apparently, I'm not a brat anymore. Uh, no, he says, apparently, I'm not the brat anymore. You fucking egocentric bitch. I couldn't help but blush at what he said. Besides that, with my heavy breathing, his grip, the constant rubbing, he was already driving me crazy. Please, 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 please. please. Please don't let someone come into the please don't let someone come into the shop. Please. Please. Please, 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 please. Please don't let someone come into the shop. 15 minutes. Please. Please, 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 please. In the last attempt to escape, I spat in his face. What? He closed his eyes for a few seconds. Uh-huh. And then cleaned himself um up as soon as uh nothing bad happened. You should learn to be more obedient. Let's see if this can help. Um, let's see if this can help you understand what's your place. <gasps> he grabbed my cheeks, forcing me to open my mouth, made a disgusting gargle, and then spit it into my mouth. <laughs> I immediately wanted to spit it out, but he placed one of his hands on my lips and nose, and the other on my neck putting pressure on both swallow it otherwise i won't let you breathe his actions only show dominance and seriousness however the gleam in his eyes was still there showing the lust that he was eager to unleash at any moment i closed my eyes tightly and in disgust i swallowed his saliva Ooh, shivers as soon as he felt his hand felt in his hand how i was swallowing his disgusting drool he let me go you're such a big oh my god right how obedient right on his face you could only see a mocking smile bastard i rushed to his body to hug him and get close to his neck and then bite him i had to at least get revenge in some way after having done tremendously disgusting things however as soon as i take my teeth in i heard him moan right <laughs> 
He covered his mouth with his hand, and now he's blushing. He pushed me away from his neck, however, my grip on his body was too strong to get me away from him. <clears throat> Sorry. I kept biting him, leaving a mark not only on his neck, but also on his jaw and collarbone. However, I got carried away by the hickeys. When I moved a little away from him, I could notice all the marks I made on him were very noticeable thanks to his pale skin. Stop. No. <laughs> no. Having control of making him whimper was great. No matter what he said, I wasn't going to stop. Symphony. Yeah, I'm not going to see. Now you're not going to hear it, but I'm going to hear it. While I left my marks on him, he took the opportunity to continue pressing himself against me. We're both panting with heavy breathing thanks to everything we were doing. His hands began to get under my clothes, caressing my belly and squeezing it from time to time without hurting me. This... Uh, this wasn't part of the script? What script? What script? Who cares? Shut up, silly. Silly goose. <laughs> you silly goose. My hands went down his back, slowly going to his bottom. I know what you're trying to do. No, you don't. Just keep doing your thing. My hands travel to his butt, <laughs> squeezing it. You know, I think there's something you might like. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing? Oh, my God, what are you doing? What just happened? What are you doing? Why aren't your clothes off? God damn it. When I looked up, I could see that um, Ritup was blushing like crazy. On top of that, he seemed to be hiding behind his cap while trying to catch his breath. What just happened? I was telling you that it was me? I screwed up your laptop. Huh? Right, the laptop. This dude. Give me back my seat! <laughs> Give it back! I don't want this. I don't give a f on a computer. <laughs> I give a fuck. I don't care. Give it back. I want it right now. Do I have to find out where you live? Call corporate, maybe? Stop it. Give me back my pookie beer. Stop. I sighed. Was this really happening? This is the stupidest way anyone has ever tried to flirt with me. What? We- What? Did you know so you could see me? Stop teasing me? <gasps> I don't want- No! That's- No! That is not what I wanted, I hate that! You're so mean, game. That's all the options, bro. That was so grimy. Guys. <laughs> yeah, that was actually everything. I went back and stuff and checks. I went to check some other stuff. That's everything. I did everything. It took two hours. It's fine, though. That's a shame. I really liked the green guy. The green guy? I like him. I want to know more about him. That's crazy. Anyways, let me do my clap thing. Anyways, that was yours game. That was actually like really fucking fun. <laughs> I had a good time, mostly because of the green guy. I like him. Um, I couldn't give any more of a shit about what's his face. I you see, I already forgot his name. <laughs> so yeah, that was amazing. Honestly, I loved it so much. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a like. You know, of course, do that for me. You're you're so kind. Plus, it's free. So yeah, who doesn't like free stuff? And of course, subscribe for more. 
I'm glad I did this. Cause you know, I haven't played your the actual your boyfriend game, so yeah, this is in a way drastically better. <laughs> like just by this much. <laughs> Oh god, anyways, with all that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bro, I'm the sickest thing ever. <laughs>